Action. I have here two meter sticks. They're exactly the same, except that I've taped one kilo of mass to the top of this one. Now I'm going to hold them like this, and then I'll release. Nicole, which one of these two will hit the ground first? Um, they should hit the ground at the same time. Ah, clever. Because we learned earlier on that all things fall with the same acceleration. Let's see what happens. Ah, they did not hit the ground at the same time. Clearly, this one, the light one with no mass attached, hit the ground first. How is that possible? We learned that all things experience the same acceleration of gravity. Well, if I had dropped them like this, they do hit the ground at the same time. But what we did is we set them in motion like this, which caused rotational motion. They rotated to the ground. It rotated to the ground. So what I'm interested in is the moment of inertia. This guy clearly has a much larger moment of inertia than this guy. In fact, he's got a plus m times a meter squared more moment of inertia. More moment of inertia means that it has more inertia towards rotation. It's harder to make this guy rotate. So the torque that's acting on it from gravity, well, it'll cause a smaller angular acceleration because this guy, this guy here, has a larger moment of inertia. That, let's look at it one more time. So I release them at the same time. You can see this guy hit the ground first. <laughs>